Oh, swing and a miss. That was really cool. Yeah! I have a much better way to watch your movies and your baseball games. Do you know what that is? No. It's with a projector. Cool. Do you guys know what a projector is? No. It projects an image on a wall or a screen. And you got that enormous wall in the game room upstairs. So I think we could watch this like on a hundred inch screen. Cool. Or bigger depending on how far we can get it back. So let's see what's in this box. Oh, wow. It comes with a backpack to carry it around. Cool. Oh, we got all of our wires, our remote control. But most importantly, we have the projector. Cool. Look at that. Got our controls on the top, but we have the remote control as well. We have all these inputs, two HDMIs, two USBs, an audio video for older devices that don't do the HDMIs. And then we could adjust it right here for focusing. So I think we need to test out the backpack and take it upstairs to the game room. Yeah. Who's gonna carry it? Me. Do we need to loosen those straps a little bit? Nope. Nope, all right, look at that. So easy to carry up over the dog barrier and to the game room. Thank you so much for cleaning up the game room. Now we got no obstructions to put that projector up on that back wall. Who's ready? Me! It's time to set this up. Get the projector out. This is going to be our projector stand for right now. We'll figure out something better later. So that's the audio video cable to hook up something older. Our remote control cable, HDMI cable, the user manual, always important. The screen clock to keep it clean. This is like a little foot. And I thought I saw something. Yeah, I did. Right here, we screw this into place so we can raise or lower the screen to adjust it. Project on. All right, time to turn it on. Can I turn the lights off? I think that'd be a great idea. Where is it? You have to take the Oh, yeah, you're right. I have to take the oh, lens cap with the cover on. There we go. That's what Whoa! Whoa, that's huge. It just came on the wall. There we go. It is. Yeah? Guess what, guys? Wow. This is a really cool trick you can only do with a projector, not a TV. Watch what happens when I move the stand back. Whoa! Look how huge it is! <laughs> I'm pressing that. You're <laughs> me now! Wait! Yeah, I haven't done the talk anymore. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, that's so huge! So, on the left side, where Caden is standing, we have the inputs. Then we can choose to watch a movie, listen to music, look at photos, or even do the office suite. We have an iPad and we have an Android phone, so we can actually use those devices to project on here. I, I can't awesome. watch the Android tonight. Yeah. Oh, man. We're going to test out the USB feature. All right. Oh, USB just lit up in the top. Awesome. So let's go to the movies. And let's see what this does. USB drive. Uh oh, brothers fighting over toy cars. You guys gonna play nice? You gonna play nice? It's larger than life, guys. We've got the controls at the bottom of it. Awesome, so that works really well. I want to test out a feature that I've never used before, and that is the mirror cast, or the mirror cast. So I'm going to go to mirror cast, and it's telling me what to do. Open your Android, okay. I'm going to go to media, 
Smart View, New Link, Start Now. I think. <gasps> Look at that! It shows up! Cool! Something of you guys right here. Alright, guys. <laughs> Point of this. Cool, so we're going straight off the phone now. No wires! Isn't that awesome? All right, so even though the projector has a really good speaker on it, maybe you already have some Bluetooth speakers or Bluetooth surround or soundbar. So if we go to the very top and go to settings, Bluetooth settings, set up the manual setting, scan for devices. There we go, we got a rock out. Connected, perfect. Now let's go back and let's play a video. One of my favorite videos you get. Say, come here. Where he held his head on the table. This mom. Whoa. So now we're running straight through the Bluetooth video. So depending on how your uh, angle is, you might need to go and change a few things or a few settings. So if we go to the projection image settings, the manual keystone is mainly what I'm hinting at here. And if we change this value, you can see how the screen rotates to fix some of those angles. So we can make this straight now, instead of kind of angled toward us, wider at the top, less at the bottom. Depending on what you have, if you have a screen in between you and the projector, you can flip it. If you had it mounted from the ceiling, it's upside down. So that's what we want. What do you think about watching the baseball game on this size of a screen? You're actually as tall as the batter. Oh, is that a ball? <laughs> oh, swing and a miss. <laughs> this projector is awesome. It has so many features with a beautiful picture. It has two USB ports on the side that you can plug in for movies, pictures, music or even the office suite. Yep. It has two HDMI connections, so you plug in your disk drives, your streaming boxes. It even has an old audio video cord for the older devices that don't have HDMI. If you have an Apple device, an iPad or an iPhone, you can use the iOS cast to project the screen up onto the projector. Or with the Android, you can use the Miracast. Um, the screen is larger than life. Crystal clear, great quality. So the boys yep. are really loved it. It's great to watch movies or even baseball on. Yep. And if you would like this projector, click on the link below. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. What will happen last time? What will happen next time? Don't forget a cool extra. Yeah.